Hello everyone. Am I visible and audible? Let me confirm if I am clearly visible and audible. I will start the class ahead. Sorry for being late. Uh, let me confirm if you people can see me. You can give me a thumbs up for confirmation. If you can see me and hear me clearly. Okay, I hope it is working. So, I welcome you all for today's session. A very good morning to all of you. I am Dr. Priyanka Sajdev here, educator on an academy. And today I am here to start a fresh series. What is the fresh series today? Today I am going to start epidemiology in community medicine. So, it is a new subject I am starting. So, in community medicine, epidemiology is a very big portion. So, I am going to cover entire epidemiology in the next 4-5 days. So, there will be 2 hour session every day for epidemiology. So, today we are having a 2 hour session of epidemiology. Now, you have to understand this topic is really very, very, very important. Right? And uh, there are many numericals also based on this topic. So, in epidemiology, today I will teach you measurements of mortality and measurements of morbidity. I hope you people already understand what is mortality and what is morbidity. Okay. Before moving on that, you should understand what is epidemiology. If I split the term and see, epi means among, demos means people and logi means study. So, epidemiology means it is the study among people. So, epidemiology is the uh, distribution and determin uh, determinants of health related events in specific population that is it's a study of people study of people that is epidemiology so uh, what is the epidemiological approach so in any epidemiological approach to the disease we call the disease as event we call the disease as event so first you have to describe what is the event that is you have to describe what is the nature of the disease you are describing when that when did the disease occur so first you have to describe what then you have to describe when then you have to describe where then you have to describe who then you have to describe what is the extent then you have to describe why so there are various questions what is the event that is nature of the disease when the disease occurred that is time distribution where did the, did the disease occur that is place distribution in entire world where disease occurs most commonly Throughout the year, in which month, on which days the disease is more common? Time distribution, place distribution. Who are the persons affected more? That is person distribution. So either they are married person me zada hota hai ki unmarried me. Old age me it is more common ki children me it is more common. So what is the person distribution? Right. What is the extent of the problem? Magnitude. Is the magnitude is more or less? What is the etiology? Why the disease is occurring? Why? The answer of why is etiology. What to be done to reduce the problem? To reduce the problem, what measures we can take? That is, we will describe the control measures and how it can be prevented in future. So, in future, you want to prevent it that currently the disease is already there. So, first you control it. First you control it, the current episode. And in future, it doesn't take uh, again. So, you take preventive measures. So, this is the sequence in which we go for any event. What is the event? When it occur? Where it occur? Who are the persons who are affected? What is the extent, why it occur and how we can reduce it, how we can prevent in future. So, any disease, any event we will study in this, in this uh, manner in epidemiology. Anyways, before moving on all these things, I will explain you everything. I will explain you what is hypothesis. We will create a hypothesis and we will test our hypothesis. Now, there are two possibilities, whether our hypothesis is right or whether our hypothesis will be wrong. So, how to test it? What are the tests we perform to test our hypothesis? I will come on everything. Before that, you should understand the basics. So, what I always start with the basics. So, you should understand that in mathematics, in your childhood, you have studied these terms. What is rate? What is proportion? What is ratio? So, listen. Whenever I will teach you, now there are multiple formulas in this chapter. So, whatever I have formula, I will teach you that the formula of incidence is this, the formula of prevalence is this, the formula of case fatality rate is this, the MMR formula is this, IFR formula is this. So, uh, looking at any formula, you should answer, ma'am, whether it is a rate, whether it is a ratio or whether it is a proportion. So, for identifying, you should understand. Now, most of the students I have seen, they don't know the difference between rate, ratio and proportion. And they just mug up that incidence is a rate, prevalence is a proportion. No, it is not the thing. You don't have to mug up. You have to understand. Once you have understood what is the difference between the three. So, if I give you any, any, any formula from the entire PSM, looking at the formula, you can say whether it is a rate, ratio or proportion. Rate, ki ratio, ki proportion. You don't have to mug up. So, let me come. Does anyone know what is the difference between rate, ratio and proportion? It's very easy. 
once you get it now you will never forget let me see if i can see your chat just a second so does anyone know what is the difference between rate ratio and proportion anyone aarti anyone so okay let me tell you so okay so in in uh, i will teach you what is rate ratio proportion in all these formula there is a numerator there is a denominator you know in mathematics what is numerator what is denominator so in a fraction the above value is the numerator the below value is the denominator there is a multiplier the multiplier can be 10 can be 100 can be 1000 can be 10000 there is some multiplier right so different multipliers are there in rate ratio proportion and in some formulas we use time specification in some we don't use time specification let me start with rate rate ratio proportion i will teach you all three let me start with rate what is rate what is rate so um, in rate we have a numerator we have a denominator we have a multiplier the multiplier is not 100 it can be 1000 10000 1 lakh anything but it is not 100 not 100 and a time specifier and a time specifier this is the formula of rate now see the formula of death rate death rate what is death rate you can see now listen one more thing here the numerator is a part of denominator again i am repeating numerator is the part of denominator now look at this example look at this example what is death rate number of death in one year is the numerator mid year population is the denominator so whatever so if i am calculating the death rate of india what is the death rate of india so mid year population of india will be the denominator right total population of india will be the denominator of that particular year i want to calculate death rate of 2021 21 already occurred so 2021 mein what was the population of india mid mid year population you have to write in denominator how many persons were dead so these are the part of this population only so you have to notice one thing that who whosoever is dead that is a part of this population only so numerator is a part of denominator so there is a numerator there is a denominator but the most important thing numerator is a part of denominator these two are not separate thing the one who are dead are the persons from this population only right and the multiplier is 1000 the multiplier is not 100 it can be anything but it is not 100 and there is a time specifier here the time specifier is one year so you can calculate the death rate for one month also one year also it's your wish so time specifier can be anything so this is rate everyone give me a thumbs up what is rate so let me summarize in rate there is a numerator there is a denominator numerator is the part of denominator right after that there is a time specifier and there is multiplier multiplier is never 100 it can be anything but it is never 100 because 100 will be the multiplier only in proportion not in rate not in ratio it will be in proportion so please learn the formula of rate everyone you are not giving the thumbs up please give me a thumbs up if you got this formula so what how you will define rate it is the occurrence of some particular event here the event is death here the event is death so occurrence of some particular event it can be disease it can be death in a population so denominator is the population during a given time so given time is usually one year so this is the formula of rate right so siddhi rishinika i hope you got it so numerator denominator time specifier and multiplier we have four things here right multiplier is usually 1000 10000 1 lakh whatever but never 100 again and again i am repeating numerator here is a part of denominator so the person who are dying are from the population only they are not aliens they are from this population only right so then the persons who are dying are from this population so numerator is a part of denominator time specifier is a calendar year right it can be 2020 21 whatever i want to calculate and multiplier is never 100 it can be anything else so this is rate we are done now now let me come on ratio second thing is ratio what is ratio does anyone know what is ratio so in my class there are many students attending it live how many are boys how many are girls so let me take the ratio of boys upon girls now numerator is not a part of denominator denominator is not a part of numerator both are separate entities both are completely separate entities so how number of boys upon number of girls we can do ratio like this so there is a numerator there is a denominator but numerator and denominator are separate entities numerator and denominator nothing to do with each other numerator is not a part of denominator denominator is not a part of but yeah if i say boys upon total students attending my class right or girls upon total students attending my class so here numerator is a part of denominator from the total students boys are from the total students girls are so here it is not ratio these two are not ratio these two are not ratio but if i say boys upon girls or girls upon boys it is a ratio so in ratio there is a numerator there is a denominator you can see there is a numerator numerator there is a denominator but numerator is not a component of denominator give me a thumbs up there is no multiplier nothing no 10 100 1000 10000 nothing and about time specifier there can be present there can be absent time specifier sometime present and sometime if time specifier is absent 
if i say in a month in a day in a year so i'm giving you a guideline ki tell me in one day how many boys upon girls in one day or one year or one month so there is time specifier if i'm not saying any time specifier it is the instantaneous so opposite of time specifier is instantaneous at that instant how many girls and boys are there so if there is it can be time specification it can be instantaneous anything can happen so this is the thing have you got it have you got it so it is the relationship in size of two random quantities the two random quantities here is boys upon girls boys upon girls or girls upon boys so in the class how many boys are there how many girls are there nothing to do with each other nothing to do how many how many are wearing red color how many are wearing blue color so nothing to do with each other right so if numerator and denominator are two random quantities and we are framing a relationship between them right that is known as ratio that is dividing one quantity by another quantity both are quantity quantity you know quantity means new number these are the numbers we are dividing with each other so you know that is ratio that is the ratio have you got it what is ratio have you got it what is ratio so let me summarize so i have already taught you what is rate i have already taught you what is ratio and now i will come on proportion now i will come on proportion so in rate i told you there is a numerator there is a denominator in ratio also i taught you there is a numerator there is a denominator but in rate the numerator is a part of denominator in ratio numerator denominator have nothing to do with each other these are two separate entities number 1 number 2 in rate there is a time specifier always present it can be one year one day one month usually one year taken most of the time but here time specifier can be present can be absent it is not fixed it is not compulsion that it is always present usually it is absent the third difference here uh, multiplier is present which can be anything but not 100 usually 1000 but not 100 here multiplier is also absent now compare the formula of the two you will yourself get the differences between rate and ratio so rate is numerator upon denominator into time specifier into multiplier multiplier which is not 100 here only numerator and denominator no time specifier no multiplier here in ratio everyone gave me a thumbs up and here the most important difference you didn't told me in rate numerator is a part of denominator in ratio numerator and denominator are two separate entities now i will give you multiple formulas right in the polls you have to identify you have to identify ki whether rate and ratio are two separate entities or whether uh, sorry whether it is a rate or whether it is a ratio looking at numerator and denominator whether numerator and denominator are two separate entities or whether numerator is a part of denominator based on that you have to answer let me come on the third thing proportion if you got this let me come on proportion this is a example of ratio as i have told you there are seven boys and 12 girls so the ratio of boys to girls is 7 upon 12 and if you say girls upon boys it will be 12 upon 7 so both are ratios both are ratios you can say boys upon girl or girls upon boys whatever let me come on the third thing the third thing here is proportion are you people there everyone give me a thumbs up i am coming on proportion the third thing is the proportion now in proportion again you have a numerator again you have a denominator of course in tino mein numerator denominator to hai but here again numerator is a part of denominator like rate like rate numerator is a part of denominator so you will say ma'am what is the difference between rate and proportion then in rate also you taught us this thing that numerator is a part of denominator here the multiplier is always 100 here multiplier is no, always 100 if you remembered in rate multiplier is, is never 100 it can be 1000 10000 usually 1000 but never 100 here it is always 100 the multiplier is always 100 and in rate there is time specification here there is no time specification it is instantaneous so time specification nahi hai this is the this is the formula of proportion have you got it so let me tell you example see this example so in this example okay you can see the number of children which came there is a village imagine there is a village in india right in that village you have visited and you have seen how many children in that village have scabies at that particular instant when you are visiting when you are visiting at that particular instant how many children have scabies so it is instantaneous at a certain instant i am talking i am not talking throughout the year throughout two years throughout the month no on that instant so it is instantaneous that is the numerator and total number of children of the village is the denominator so you tell me numerator is a part of denominator yes or no so yes the person the children who are having scabies are the part of this total children only so total children in the village whatever there are 200 total children in the village and out of those 15 have scabies so these 15 are a part of this so numerator is a part of denominator but look at the multiplier multiplier is 100 so looking at the multiplier you can identify whether it is a rate or proportion so let me summarize the things everyone give me a thumbs up everyone so listen there is rate there is ratio there is proportion 
so in rate numerator is a part of denominator in proportion also numerator is a part of denominator but here multiplier is never 100 it can be 1000 10000 lakh anything here multiplier is always 100 and here always there is time specifier present here no time specifier present here instantaneous is there proportion is and ratio there is numerator there is denominator which are not part of each other these are two random quantities and there is no multiplier no time specifier everyone give me a thumbs up so we will summarize the formula of rate ratio proportion if you people are with me if you help me i can write it out you will help me yes you will help me please tell me the uh, formula for rate first then ratio then proportion who will help me so in rate write down numerator upon denominator ye to teeno mil ko numerator upon denominator numerator upon denominator now in rate numerator is a part of denominator in ratio numerator and denominator are two random quantities they are not related to each other in proportion again numerator is a part of denominator right that is about numerator denominator done okay coming on multiplier coming on time specifier so in rate there is always a time specifier always always in proportion it is always instantaneous it is not time specifier and in ratio it can be anything time specifier can be present or absent means it can be instantaneous have you got it coming on the third thing the third thing is the multiplier what is the multiplier in each of the scenario in rate multiplier is usually 1000 10000 like it is never 100 and here it is always 100 and there is no multiplier no multiplier so you can see the final formula of all these this is the formula for rate ratio is only numerator upon denominator nothing and this is the formula of proportion so everyone means everyone give me a thumbs up if you got this concept you can solve many questions many believe me do you have any doubt arti kuldi prishinika anyone else having any doubt so i will be happy if you ask any doubt to me yes anyone having any doubt no doubt should i proceed ahead so okay you tell me the conclusion now you will use your brains and you will tell me the conclusion in the conclusion whether you have to tell me infant mortality rate it is a rate or ratio or proportion you have three options rate ki ratio ki proportion i will ask you one by one maternal mortality rate sex ratio incidence prevalence case fatality rate risk rate so formulas are written in front of you apply your knowledge on these formulas and you tell me whether it is a rate or ratio or proportion no need to mug up Students usually who do not have this basic knowledge, na, they just mug up ki ma'am IMR to rate hai but MMR proportion hai. Why to mug up? Come on, look at the formula. You can yourself decide. Why to mug up? Let me start with the first one, infant mortality rate. Look at the formula. Look at the formula of infant mortality rate. Number of infants who are dead upon number of live birth. So you tell me numerator is a part of denominator, yes or no? Whether the numerator is a part of denominator, yes or no? And multiplier is 1000. So number of infant, infant yani one year ki age ke bachche, right? So total number of children who are born, the live birth, usme se till one year ki age mein kitne dead ho gaye. So yes, of course, numerator is a part of denominator, right? So if numerator is a part of denominator, it is not ratio. It can be rate, it can be proportion. Now, whether it is rate or proportion, look at this time specifier. It is thousand. So if it is thousand, what it is? If it is thousand, what it is? So yes, you all are right. Rishinika, Aarti, Siddhi shochi very good so of course it is rate it is rate very good it is rate so see apply your knowledge on the second formula mmr mmr see the formula now now see the formula beautiful formula what is the numerator number of maternal death maternal death how many mothers are dead that is the numerator and number of live birth is the denominator live birth means the mothers have given birth to the children now so number of live birth is the denominator right the mother can give birth to single uh, child also she can give birth to twins also triplets also so number of live birth total number of live birth is the denominator but number of mothers dead is the numerator now numerator and denominator are not part of each other they are not at all part of each other right numerator may mothers and denominator may children hai. so they are not part of each other have you got it here although multiplier is given but neglect that multiplier so numerator and denominator are not part of each other that's why it is ratio that's why it is ratio give me a thumbs up so you can see it is a very commonly asked question in your exams that IMR is the rate but MMR is ratio. So IMR infant mortality rate is rate but maternal mortality rate it is a misnomer. We say it is a rate but it is not a rate it is a ratio. So better to say maternal mortality ratio it is not rate. So sometimes we get confused. Give me a thumbs up if you got it. Everyone give me a thumbs up. So you can apply your knowledge like this right. You can see sex ratio the third. 
सेक्स रेशियो वॉट इज सेक्स रेशियो का फॉर्मुला नंबर ऑफ फीमेल्स इज द न्यूमिटर नंबर ऑफ मेल्स इज द डिनोमिटर इज न्यूमिटर एंड डिनोमिटर आर पार्ट ऑफ इच अदर नो फीमेल्स आर सेपरेट मेल्स ऊपर फीमेल है नीचे मेल है सो दे आर नॉट रिलेटेड टू इच अदर सो ऑफकोर्स अगेन इट इज अर रेशियो दे आर नॉट रिलेटेड टू इच अदर सो अगेन इट इज अ रेशियो यस तो सेक्स रेशियो इज द रेशियो सी द आंसर सी द आंसर हियर इन द स्लाइड आई हैव कवर्ड द आंसर हैव यू गॉट इट सो नेक्स्ट इंसिडेंस एंड प्रिवेलेंस या सो माय नेक्स्ट टॉपिक टुडे इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर आई विल टीच यू इंसिडेंस एंड प्रिवेलेंस सो लुक एट द फार्मूला फर्स्ट इंसिडेंस देखो फिर प्रिवेलेंस देखो यू विल गेट यू विल लर्न अ लॉट राइट सो सी what is incidence number of new case of any disease upon total population so however just suppose the disease is tb so how the new cases of tb is the numerator and population is the denominator so the number of total tb cases are part of this population only so numerator is a part of denominator and multiplier is 1000 so of course it is it is rate now look at the prevalence so here a little bit difference is there denominator is total population only but numerator mein new and old both cases will be there so tb ke new cases as well as old cases so of course you will see ma'am again numerator is a part of denominator i agree in both of them numerator here only new cases are there here new plus old both cases are there so in both of them numerator is a part of denominator but look at the multiplier here multiplier is 100 that's why it is a proportion again a most commonly asked multiple time repeat mcq in your exam that incidence is a rate prevalence is a proportion prevalence is a proportion so i will come on all these one by one don't worry i will explain you all these terms one by one let me start my topic today so in epidemiology in today's lecture i am going to cover a very important topics what are the measurement of mortality what are the measurements of morbidity does anyone know the difference between mortality and morbidity does anyone knows the difference between mortality and morbidity does anyone know mortality means now if anyone any no there are there are all healthy human beings on the earth we want the human beings to be healthy only if the human being is not healthy if the human being is not healthy there are two fates there are two options either the human being have some disease either or the human being is dead human being so death and disease are the two option death and disease so death death is known as mortality and disease is known as morbidity is known as morbidity so what what are the measures of death that is measurement of mortality and what are the measurements of the diseases any disease you talk about you take tb you take diabetes you take any any disease of your choice so that is morbidity everyone give me a thumbs up so mortality matlab hota hai death or morbidity matlab hota hai disease right so i will explain you the measurements of each of them you got the meaning so morbidity ka meaning hota hai any departure from well being from well being well being matlab health you know well being well being means health so any departure from the well being the departure can be subjective can be objective have you got it subjective means actual uh, so objective means actual departure and subjective means psychological disease so patient is feeling i am not well but if you test if you do all the medical tests they are absolutely normal still patient say no i am not feeling well so it is also considered as morbidity he has some psychological problem or some subjective problem so it is not documented we cannot find the lesion we cannot find anything abnormal in the blood test so it is not objective but yet it is subjective so any departure from subjective or objective from state of well being is known as morbidity it can be sickness it can be disease now there is a difference between sickness and disease i will explain you all when i will take the detail of morbidity sickness is something different disease is something different so it is approximate uh, sickness or disease give me a thumbs up everyone give me a thumbs up right so i will tell you so, uh, let me come on mortality first what is mortality it is the death we call death as the event at a given time frame uh, given time frame so death we are taking death as a event have you got it so i will teach you measurements of both mortality also morbidity also let me start the measurements of mortality now the lecture is going to be super super interesting super excited right so let me start with mortality let me start with measurements of mortality how many measurements of mortality do you people know okay let me ask a question let me take example of india right let me take i am an indian so i am taking an example of india easy to understand so let me take an example of india let me take the just previous year it is 2022 right so 2021 we are talking about 2000 which is already passed from january to december first january to 31st december was the year the complete year 2021 i am talking about so tell me the in the mortality of india in 2021 so how you will measure i am giving you a task ki go and tell me the mortality of india in the year 2021 so that is your task how you will do this task how you will do what measures you will take how you will do it how you will calculate it so do you have any knowledge about it 
how many measurements of mortality how we will measure the mortality of any particular location here our location is india right in a particular time here our time frame is 2021 i can make it 2020 19 anything or particular month how you will measure it how you will measure it that is my question to you so there are six indicators by which you can measure the mortality six indicators and jisse hum mortality measure kar sakte hain so the most important and easy one to calculate is crude death rate the second is specific death rate then proportional mortality rate survival rate case fatality rate and standardized mortality rate now these topics are really difficult to understand but i will try my best right listen uh, learn their uh, short forms crude death rate is known as cdr it is not cdr i will write in all the books in park also it is written as cdr so if cdr is asked to you you should know cdr means crude death rate specific death rate is known as sdr right proportional mortality rate is known as pmr survival rate sr case fatality rate cfr cfr and standardized standardized mortality rate like smr standardized mortality rate is smr so what i am talking about these are the short forms of that so you should be aware about these short forms right along with the full forms let me start one by one beautifully i am going to explain you no one will explain you with such a clarity between the difference between the sex let me start with the first one so make a table with me in this table uh in the first column you will write the uh formula of that that particular so cdr write the formula here sdr write the formula here formula you write the formula then you decide whether the formula is rate or ratio or proportion you have to decide don't learn based on the formula you have to tell me and some important points regarding that so once you complete this portion now you will see more than 100 mcqs on this topic i will help you in solving all of them don't worry done shall shall i, shall I start So let me start with the first one CDR crude death rate CDR crude death rate so what is CDR what is CDR so see the numerator and see the denominator see the formula we will learn from the formula then we will come on the definition don't learn the definition will be difficult for you to understand see the formula the denominator is mid year population you tell me what do you mean by mid year population mid year population of india what do you mean by that mid year population matlab kya hota hai so what is what is the uh, one year what is the definition of one year so any one year you take just suppose it is already passed i cannot take 2022 because it is running so any one year which is already passed you can take so 2021 just suppose i am talking about so first january to 31st december december 12 12 am midnight to 12 am midnight right 12 am to 12 so this is the time frame of one year do you have any doubt so i am talking about the mid year population so during the entire year some persons are born added in india's population india's population and some people are dead some people are dead so they are gone so some people are eliminated from india's population yes so during the entire year it will happen so if you measure the population at any instant the answer will be different here some are born some are dead here some are born some so the answer will be different at all the instances so you have to do a standardization right so mid year we have calculated mid mid year population what is the middle of the year the middle of the year is 1st july take 6 month here take 6 month here total 12 month so 1st july is the day it is just at the center of the year 1st july so the date is 1st july so measure the population at 1st july raat ko 12 baje 12 am midnight 12 am midnight so at that instant it is a snapshot it is a snapshot of population at that instant snapshot you know the meaning of snapshot so we have taken a snapshot of india's population at 1st july 12 am so whatever because at every second the population is different you have to decide the time exact time also so it is 12 am midnight 1st july ko what is the answer is coming that is known as mid year population of india so it is giving a reflection of the entire year so some are dead some are born some are plus some are minus so we see it at the mid at the mid so it is giving a reflection of throughout the year that is known as mid year population of 2021 in a similar way we can calculate for 2020 also in the similar way we can calculate for 2019 also so in july first july of this particular day uh, particular years uh, at 12 am whatever the population is uh, there it is known as mid year population everyone give me a thumbs up that is mid year population of india so in denominator most of the time we take mid year population right so mid year population of india I, what is your task you forget your task what is your task i am asking what is india's mortality in 2021 that is your task so you will say okay ma'am you tell me what is the mid year population of india in 2021 that will be my denominator and how many deaths occurred from 1st january till 31st december in 2021 
how many people were dead number of death number of death number of death in india that is my numerator so what is your numerator here number of death in that particular area my area is india right it can be some particular city also it can be some particular village also depending in what you want to calculate the mortality in india or in mumbai or in delhi or in particular village right so that area you have to see how many deaths are there or that area only you have to tell the mid year population right there is a numerator there is a denominator there the multiplier here is 1000 multiplier is 1000 and in one year always you calculate so there is always a time specifier now look at the formula look at the formula you tell me whether it is a rate or ratio or proportion so numerator is a part of denominator the person who are dead are the part of this population only now they are not aliens they are part of this population only so numerator is a part of denominator number one thing there is a time specifier right this is one year 2021 19 20 any year you can calculate and multiplier is thousand so what is it is it a rate or ratio or proportion rc rishinika yes siddhi anyone anyone whether it is a rate or ratio or proportion you tell me now so crude death rate kya hai crude death rate kya hai yes rc very good it is a rate so crude death rate is a rate so learn the formula what is the formula of cdr crude death rate ka formula who will tell me so you write the formula like this number of death is the numerator mid year population is the denominator multiplier is thousand and in one year we have to calculate any year but one year any year 2017 18 19 whatever you wish you can take so this is the formula of cdr please understand now the second question why it is known as crude crude ka matlab kya hota hai? crude means we are not uh, taking any specification this number of death include all males all females i'm not separating males separately females it includes old person also it includes children also right it includes deaths from all diseases i'm not calculating it separately that for tb tell me separate deaths for diabetes tell me separate death for cancer tell me separate death no so i'm considering all together number of death of death is of child or death of old it is considered death of male death of female it is considered death of any disease it is considered natural death it is considered road traffic accident it is also considered so it is crude it is not specific the opposite of specific is crude so crude includes everything that's why it is known as crude it is the worst indicator of mortality right among the six indicators it is the worst right it is crude it includes everything everything whosoever is dead count and uh, keep it here so don't see the reason for death whatever if the death is there it can it can be male it can be female it can be child it can be young it can be old it can be any disease take all deaths in the numerator denominator is of course mid year population right multiplier is thousand and time specifier is one year so that's why it is known as crude so in crude death rate crude is crude because it does not specify any particular age group any particular gender or any particular cause of death it is not specifying whether male hai ki female hai whether child hai ki young hai ki old hai or whether the cause of death is tb diabetes cancer road traffic accident what is the cause of death so no cause of death it is specifying that's why it is known as crude give me a thumbs up it is the simplest measure of mortality most simplest among the six right here denominator is mid-year population mid-year population is calculated on first july first july 12 am midnight of every year so if you want to calculate mid-year population of 2001 in 2001 in july what is the population and this is known as mid-year population of that particular year right it is reflects the health status of that area just suppose i am comparing two areas this is delhi this is mumbai calculate cdr for both so delhi ke liye cdr you will calculate mumbai ke liye bhi cdr you will calculate the two metros of india you can say so here mid-year population you will take of both respective so mumbai mid-year population and Delhi mid-year population of that particular year. I am talking about 2021. So 2021 ki mid-year idhar likhi of Delhi. Or 2021 ki Mumbai ki mid-year population you are writing here. Now number of death in Delhi you will write in numerator. And number of death in Mumbai you will write here. In 2000 in 2000. Now you will compare the answers of both. Compare the answers of both here and here. Just suppose here the answer is 20. Uh, 200. And here the answer is uh, maybe 170. So... It is giving the health status now. So health status is better in Mumbai as compared to Delhi. Because in Delhi people are dying more. In Mumbai they are lying death. Less they are dying. So less they are dying means health status is good in Mumbai. Maybe good hospitalization, good doctors, good health facilities available. That's why people are less dying. But in Delhi they are dying. It is an example. The, all the values are rough. Right? It is not actual scenario. Just for the sake of understanding I am giving these examples. Give me a thumbs up if you are getting... So lesser the value of CDR, better is the health condition of that particular area. More is the value of CDR, uh, poorer is the condition of health status of that uh, particular area. You got it? You got it? 
so looking at the answer you can decide the health status of that particular area if cdr is much high in that area means health status is not good in that area maybe achhe doctors nahi hai achhe hospitals nahi hai achhi facilities nahi hai and if cdr is less means best doctors are available best um, health staff is available so that's why people are lying, uh, dying less so this is the simplest measure broad broad right other factors may also be responsible for this variation so you can see for india fc these are the real graphs for india these are the real graphs for india you can see now cdr is calculated every 10 years every 10 years we calculate so the latest one we are having in 2011 for 2021 i have to see for the answer till now it is 7.4 7.4 per 1000 so if you take the 1000 mid year population the answer is 7.4 it means in every 1000 7.4 people are dying every year every year every year 7.4 people are dead among the 1000 so what is the total population of india you know the total population so in every 1000 7.4 in every another 1000 7.4 in every other 1000 7 so you have to calculate the total death kitni hongi have you got it have you got it now compare the cdr From to 1981, 1991, 2001. So every 10 year, please compare the CDR. So CDR was initially 12.5, and now it is 7.4. 7. So CDR is constantly declining, 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 and from many years it is constant now, almost constant. So initially, health status of India was not good. Better facilities of the health were not available, hospitals were not available, and especially in the periphery, in the villages, uh, health status was not very good. But gradually we have improved and still we are improving it. So we are decreasing the CDR. So we want to decrease the CDR, right? That is our motto. Being doctors, being the healthcare providers, we are the healthcare providers. We have to decrease the CDR of our country or of all the not only nation but of the world, of the globe. We have to decrease the CDR. We that is our job to decrease the CDR. So we want to decrease the CDR. Give me a thumbs up, everyone. Give me a thumbs up if you are getting it. So what is the formula of CDR? The first indicator is done. See, CDR is crude death rate. See the formula. Always look first at the denominator. Make a rule. So denominator is mid-year population. What is the numerator? Number of death. So number of death occurring from this population only. So numerator is a part of denominator. From the population only, people are dying. Now it is always in one year. Whatever year, two thousand twenty, twenty one, twenty two, one year, and multiplier is thousand. That's why it is a rate because numerator is a part of denominator and multiplier is hundred. No, uh, multiplier is thousand, not hundred. Right. Important points are that it is crude, so it includes everything. It includes death of male, death of female, death of old, death of child, death of young, death of all diseases or all causes, all causes. We are not looking at the cause. That's why crude. It is the simplest measure, and mid year population is taken on. First July, the denominator mid-year population is taken. So these are the important points regarding it on which MCQ will come. Let me come on the second second um, measure for mortality. So instead of crude, it becomes specific. The opposite of crude is specific now. So specific death rate. Have you got it? So the second, the first one was crude. The second is specific. Both are opposite to each other. Crude means non-specific, including everything. And specific means not not everything. It is specific. So my choice is specific. Specific means I have a peculiar mindset about something. That is my choice is specific for that thing, right? But my choice is crude. Crude means I can like anything. Whatever you will give me, it, I don't have any specification. Means crude. So crude and specific are two opposite words in the dictionary. So first we have calculated crude death rate. Now we are calculating specific death rate. So first we have calculated CDR. Now we are calculating SDR. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Everyone. So specific death rate. See the formula. See the formula. Again in the formula, the denominator is mid-year population. The denominator is mid-year population. Numerator will change. New numerator means number of death, not all death. So just suppose we are talking again for India. We will take the example of India. So mid-year population of India in two thousand twenty-one. So that is the denominator, right? Number of death from the specific cause, not all death. You take either specific cause or you take specific age or you take specific sex. Whatever you wish, you can take specificity, right? Specificity of that. Just a second, let me see. The three specificities I will teach you, right? The, and it is also a rate. It is also a rate. Here, multiplier um, is wrongly written. It is not hundred. It is thousand. Make the correction. It is thousand. So it is also a rate. So numerator is a part of denominator only. Multiplier is thousand only. Only difference from crude. It is specific. We are not considering all the death, right? So specification can be at three levels. What is the cause of death? Particular group you are taking, or the what is the specification in a particular period? 
let me tell you the example of all three three types of specification can be take we are not taking all if we take all it will be crude we are not taking crude we are taking particular specific group so let me come on the cause so just suppose see at this formula look at this formula look at this formula what is the denominator of course denominator is mid-year population consider always india so mid-year population of india is the denominator number of death due to diabetes so i am taking one particular cause ki diabetes se kitni death hui i am not considering all death ki tb se bhi kitni hui uh, road traffic accident se cancer se so don't consider all death i am considering one particular cause ki diabetes se kitni death hui in 2021 so india mein 2021 mein diabetes se kitni death hui into 1000 right so it is the specific death rate for that particular disease that is diabetes in the similar way you can calculate for tb also in the similar way you can calculate for lung cancer renal cancer any disease we have millions of disease we can calculate specific death rate of all the diseases give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up if you got it so we can do the comparison now just suppose i am calculating specific death rate for tb i am calculating specific death rate for diabetes and i am calculating specific death rate for cardiovascular diseases right so answers are coming the various answers in india i am calculating all are for india all are uh, 2021 rates right so various answers will come x y z so i will compare the values the values and i will see who is the biggest burden in the community which is causing most of the death so in india most of the death is due to tb or diabetes or cardiovascular disease or road traffic accident or suicide so i can compare it so it is easy for comparison for various diseases so i can see ki sabse zyada burden kon de raha hai who is the most common cause of death in india what is the most common cause of death in india and i can take the measures for that give me a thumbs up so it is better than crude in this way have you got it this is specific cause ye specific cause i am taking different so it can be diabetes can be tb can be cancer the cause of the death is different right now particular group i can take particular different group so in different group age can be different sex can be different race can be different occupation can be different ha, social class high social class rich and poor can be different let me tell you example see the two examples are in front of you see the first example infant mortality rate what is the formula you tell me the denominator is number of live birth during that year 2021 in india and numerator is number of death of children one year children so i am taking particular group not all death only of one year children ki kitni death hai so this is particular group i am taking particular group in 2000 right here i am taking particular group is my female i am not taking all death only women ke kitne death hai india mein women ke so i am taking some particular group either the group is age specific gender specific right some particular group right and third is period specific so uh, mid year population upon number of death in march so i have concised it only particular month or particular day so period specific so specificity can be anything so number of death due to tb here tb is specific number of death due of males only not females number of death of the person who are the teenage teenager 15 to adolescent 15 to 20 years not all death number of death in january number of death in one week so this is period specific right this is uh age specific this is gender specific this is disease specific so specificity can be of anything so you can put multiple specificity again the denominator is mid year population here also and it is also a rate so i am done what are the advantages it is good for comparison so you compare specific death rate you calculate specific death rate for males in india you calculate specific death rate for females in india and compare them so you will come to know ki who are dying more males or females you compare children old age young age teenagers adolescent you can compare it age wise also you can compare it gender wise also you can compare it disease wise also so comparison ke liye ye acha hai there is it is good for comparison everyone give me a thumbs up everyone give me a thumbs up so see see now see cdr and sdr compare the denominator of both of them is mid year population But see the numerator in CDR you you are including all death all death here you are including specific death not all death now specificity can be disease can be age can be gender can be period specificity can be anything give me a thumbs up here also one year here also one year multiplier is thousand multiplier is thousand so numerator is a part of denominator here also here also the only difference here we are including all here we are not including all and here we are including specific so both of them are rate. here it is the simplest one that is the best thing and it is better for comparison it is the best thing give me a thumbs up so you will get all the numericals based on these two now the things will become difficult when i will come on the third one when i will come on the third one first give me a thumbs up if you got this so what arti is asking in imr where why there is number of birth in one year 
आर दी डिफरेंट थिंग्स हैव डिफरेंट फॉर्मूला ना इन आई एम आर वी डोंट टेक मीडियर पॉपुलेशन इन्फेंट मोर्टिलिटी रेट दैन डिनोमिनेटर इज ऑलवेज टोटल नंबर ऑफ लाइफ बर्थ सो हाउ मेनी लाइफ बर्थ आर देर इन इंडिया लाइफ बर्थ आई एम नॉट टेकिंग इन कंसिडरेशन द अबॉर्शन सो हाउ मेनी यू नो द डेफिनेशन ऑफ लाइफ बर्थ की भी बहुत स्पेसिफिक डेफिनेशन है तो लाइफ बर्थ कितने हुए इन इंडिया उसमें से वन ईयर तक किसने सर्वाइव किए दैट इज इन्फेंट मोर्टिलिटी रेट सो मोस्ट यू नो मोस्ट क्रूशियल पीरियड इन द एंटायर life of any person is the first year of life if the first year of life is survived by the children there is less chance ki he will die now he or she will die now so first year is very crucial most of the children are dead in the first year only so i am taking total number of births which are taking place in india out of that how many survived till one year so that is infant mortality rate you got my point it is not necessary arthi ki that in psm all the formula in denominator always have mid year population no different formulas have different denominators most of the form formulas we use mid year population but it is not always the case should i proceed ahead you are not giving the thumbs up should i proceed to the third pmr pmr is proportional mortality rate proportional mortality rate give me a thumbs up so i am moving on the third one proportional mortality rate pmr we are done with cdr we are done with sdr now i am moving on pmr proportional mortality rate now see now see what is the numerator what is the denominator it is death upon death death upon death okay what is death upon death here in the denominator you don't take mid year population here you take all death in india in 2021 in india total death in the denominator total death total death it is not mid year population total death in the denominator and in the numerator death due to a particular cause so death due to tb death due to diabetes due to cancer in males in females any particular specific age or cause give me a thumbs up so it is proportion and multiplier is 100 here here the multiplier is 100 100 so you tell me it is a proportion it is a proportion numerator is a part of denominator numerator is death denominator is total death just suppose in india total persons are dying are 1 lakh 1 lakh and due to tb they are 1000 1000 so out of this total 1 lakh 1000 are due to tb so rest of the the the, the, the people are due to other causes right apart from tb tb se itna hai have you got it so new so the one who are this are part of this only right so total death ka hi part hai so numerator is a part of denominator so of course uh, and the multiplier is 100 right so it is a proportion so that's why it is not rate it is not ratio it is proportion give me a thumbs up to so see number of dead due to a particular cause upon total death in 200 this is the formula so you can see the two examples i have framed here it is proportional mortality rate of particular disease bhi ho sakta hai the, i have given you the example of tb or particular age group bhi ho sakta hai so number of total death in the denominator denominator mein hamesha total death hogi numerator mein death due to particular disease or particular age group whatever you wish give me a thumbs up denominator is always total death and this proportion not right have you got it have you got what is the advantage it is giving the burden of the disease take this word burden of the disease pata chal raha hai okay so let me tell you about tb about diabetes about cancer about cardiovascular diseases right let me calculate this for all so denominator for all of them denominator for all of them is total death total death in india total death total death total death and total death but numerator is out of this total death how many are dying due to tb how many are dying due to diabetes how many are dying due to cancer how many are dying due to cardiovascular disease now you will compare the answers of all these so jiska answer sabse zyada aaya that is the biggest burden in our society biggest burden in our community which is causing most of the death so by comparing this we can decide what is the burden which is, which of the following is creating the burden of the disease give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up now this is most useful sometime when we don't have mid year population available with us if i ask what is the mid year population of 2021 you say ma'am i don't know still you calculate mortality i don't know the answer what is mid year population i don't have any data on it still you please calculate the mortality so this is the best uh, uh, criteria or uh, best i can take to calculate the mortality give me a thumbs up so in india in the world if i talk about this is a report given um, by the you know who Uh, in the world in 2019 16% out of the 100 16% are dead due to ischemic heart disease that is the biggest burden biggest burden second is stroke 10% of the death is due to stroke 5% are due to copds 
5.2 percent are due to LRI, lower respiratory tract infections, then dementias, right? So this is the sequence you can compare it. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. So again, it is good for comparison. And uh, okay, so that is the thing. Give me a thumbs up. Now compare the three things. Please, everyone, compare the three things. Everyone. So what is CDR? What is SDR? What is PMR? Crude death rate, specific death rate, proportional mortality rate, right? So in the first two, the denominator is mid-year population. So the numerator is total death or numerator is death due to a particular reason, particular specific reason. So that is crude death rate and specific death rate. Both are red. One is the simplest one, crude death rate, and SDR is good for comparison. But what is PMR? In PMR, this is death upon death. See the denominator. Here, denominator is total death, not mid-year population. Out of the total death, what are uh, what is the number of that um, uh, particular death? Like out of the total death, how many deaths are due to TB? Out of the total death, how many de deaths are due to ischemic heart disease? So that is particular cause, particular cause into 100. It is not 1000. Now see the comparison. Do the comparison of multiplier of all three. In the first two, it is 1000. That's why the first two are red. The third one is 100. That's why it is proportion. Give me a thumbs up. In all of them, numerator is a part of denominator. So in rate also, in proportion also, numerator is a part of denominator. Everyone give me a thumbs up. So for burden of disease, this is the best indicator. So three MCQs will come. Which is the simplest? Answer is CDR. Which is best for comparison? Answer is SDR. And which is giving the burden of disease? The answer is PMR. Everyone give me a thumbs up here. Come on, I'm trying hard. Still, things will get more complicated when I will teach you these three also. And we will do a comparison and many numericals based on these formulas. So please learn these formulas, write down all in one notebook and we will do many numericals based on it. If you have any doubt, please ask it. Otherwise, I will end this link and after 10 minutes, join another link. Do you have any doubt? Anyone have any doubt till now? It is difficult. Huh? This is the most difficult topic of the PSM. We will solve numericals also, right? Okay. So if you don't have any doubt, give me a break for 10 minutes. We have completed one hour lecture. One hour more still is remaining. So after a break of 10 minutes, I will continue. Uh, before that, I'm having few announcements for you. A second, you have to listen to the announcements also. Uh, so yeah, here I am. So thank you very much for being with me. I really enjoyed teaching this lecture to you. Hopefully, same from your side. Don't forget to write your feedback in the comment box. And uh, next class is all uh, after 10 to 15 minutes. So I will join again at 10.45 a.m. After a break, after a cup of coffee. So you also refresh yourself, have a cup of tea, coffee and come back after 10 minutes. We will continue it, right? Uh, and if you want more detailed lectures with recordings, with notes, you have to install an Academy app. This is a YouTube channel now. So go on the Play Store. From the Play Store, there is an app known as Unacademy Learners app. Learners app. So for the newcomers, I'm telling you, so please install that app. After installing, select the category or goal as Neat PG. After selecting, search my name. My name is Dr. Priyanka Sachdev. So in Neat PG category, you will find my name, Dr. Priyanka Sachdev. There is a profile link given. Please follow my profile link. Once you follow my profile link, once you follow, you have to install the app from Play Store like this. After installing, go to Neat PG category and follow my profile link. Search my name, follow my profile. Once you follow my profile link, you will get notification of all my free classes. All my the classes are there also free and you will get more than 500 free recordings available there the only thing you require a code to unlock it so this code can be used to unlock any free recording the code is my surname only Sachdev. s a c h d e v Sachdev 10 is the code now this code is useful in two ways if you use the code Sachdev 10 if you want to watch only free classes not the paid one so you can unlock any free class using this code and if you want to take the paid subscription that is plus or iconic if you use this code you will get biggest discount you will get highest discount so the code is useful for in all manner so please distribute this code to all medicos you know in your contact right two more announcements there is an all india mock test which is going to happen on 26 feb 9 am so please everyone all the participant of neat pg 2022 participate in that and neat pg notes the hard copy of the notes are going to launch an academy is going to launch these notes and there is a combat test which is going to happen on 19th at 6 p.m. And the first 10 winners will get Amazon gift voucher. So you all can try your luck there. The last thing, if you take plus or iconic subscription uh, today only before midnight, 12 midnight, 12 a.m. midnight before, before that. So instead of 10% discount, you will get 20% discount. If you use my code, the same code, such Dave 10. So please learn the code and 
uh, give this information to all your colleagues. So plus and iconic, it is applicable on both. And once you take the subscription, you will be eligible for all these things. So you can see initially the plus price was this. And now we are giving this. So this is your saving. See the regular iconic price. And this instead of 10%, we are giving 20% discount here. So see the saving. See the saving. So if you are thinking of taking the paid subscription, take it right now. Today only you will get the highest discount if you apply my code. Thank you very much. Join me back just after 10 minutes. Don't forget to join and join on time. We will solve many numericals in the next lecture. Thank you. And I'm I'm